Hey everybody, it's Jake, the intern of Antioch Georgetown. I just finished my sixth week of the internship. So yesterday was the land meeting where we discussed the current state of our land purchase. I ask you all that you keep the land in your prayers this week as we vote on that next Sunday. So as I've mentioned in other vlogs, I am developing a strategy for reaching Southwestern University. The university is known as the oldest university in the entire state of Texas, and it has about 1,500 students. So being in college, Andy, Stephen, and Ben uh, wanted me to research the college a little bit. They wanted me to use the things that I know about my specific college ministry at my home church. Also, while I'm here, I'm learning more about Antioch Georgetown in order to create a college student presence in Antioch. In saying that, I ask you all to keep the college ministry in your prayers this coming semester. So I want to use this vlog specifically to tell you guys a story. I've got to put this in my heart to share, and I think that uh, this vlog is a good platform in order to share it. A few days ago, I had a dream. It's not the Martin Luther King dream speech, so it's not going to change society in any way. But I do believe that God speaks through dreams, and I believe God revealed something to me this week. So in my dream, I was standing on a stage. It wasn't a huge stage, but if I was to compare it to a church that I've been to, I would say it's about the size of Antioch Conway. If you haven't been to Antioch Conway, it's about the size of First Baptist Georgetown or Crestview. Kind of backtracking a little bit, um, I am terrified of speaking in front of people, period. I, it is not my, it is not my thing. But I've already seen God use that fear of mine um, and work me through it. I've been given countless opportunities to stand in front of the church congregation and pray over the service. When I started feeling the call to ministry, the only thing standing in my way was my fear of being in front of people. I thought being a pastor was awesome um, and the idea was awesome, but I was terrified that I would have to speak in front of people. So that caused a lot of anxiety, which has slowly and slowly but surely been relieved over the past couple of years. So as you know, SOAR conference was this past week and all the students that went from Antioch and Georgetown seemed to have an amazing time. Specifically in the dream, I was on stage, I was talking to a group of high school students, and I was recapping SOAR 2019 specifically. So I believe that God can speak in many different ways. Now when Adam and Eve sinned in the garden, um, we don't have the direct relationship that we used to have, but that doesn't mean that God doesn't speak. Personally, the ways that I've experienced God speak are through His Word, through people and their personal testimonies and uh, through situations. I believe that God can speak through dreams as he has used that many times in the Bible, but I haven't experienced that for myself yet. For instance, Mary and Joseph actually experienced this. Um, God revealed himself to Joseph in a dream. This is how Jesus the Messiah was born. His mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph, but before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, to whom she was engaged, was a righteous man and did not want to disgrace her publicly, so he decided to break the engagement quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So the reason I think this dream has credibility is because I typically don't remember my dreams when I wake up, but this one has definitely stuck with me. This dream could mean that I'm supposed to be a high school pastor, or this dream could mean something completely different. One thing I was actually praying for in my time here was that God would start to reveal to me where my place is in ministry. And I think that with this dream, God has already been faithful. So this dream could be clarity, um, but in a sense, this is God's first clue. Thank you for watching. I hope that even in this personal testimony, God can use it in many ways. I will see you Sunday.